Hey everybody, Cody from Ryanet. In our last video, we introduced you to the important principles of our visual inventory management system. If you have not seen this video yet, push pause. You'll find the link here or in the description below. Otherwise, if you proceed, the rest of this video is not gonna make much sense. Now that you've watched an introductory video, today we're up in our classroom to better help illustrate how you could implement the visual inventory management system with the ink at your shop. At its core, this is a double minimum system, alerting you and your team about critical inventory needs using simple visual cues. First, designate two shelves for the base of the ink management system and label the top one secondary and the bottom one primary. In this demonstration, the least amount of ink we need for our designated trigger time of one week is one gallon of ink. Therefore, we need two gallons of ink per to make sure that this system works properly. As you can see here, we have two one gallon ink containers for each style of ink that we use on a weekly basis. Place one of each of the inks on your primary shelf and the remaining container on your secondary shelf above its pair. Now that the shelves and ink containers are all in order, let's dive into how we actually use this setup. When you're ready to use one of the inks, let's say the perfect white, just pull it from the primary shelf and go about your day. When you're done with that bad boy, make sure it gets back to that primary shelf in its designated spot. When the container of ink on the primary shelf is empty, move the backup container of that same ink from the secondary shelf to the primary shelf. Make sure to follow this step for each ink that you are using. At the end of your trigger time, take a visual vada of both your primary and secondary shelf. See what is missing from the secondary shelf and reorder those inks. If for whatever reason during your crazy week there are containers missing from your primary shelf as well, make sure to order those inks too. A best practice to keep in mind is to have about 20 to 30% of product left in your container when your reorder arrives to your door. This means you need to consider reordering when you're at the 30 to 40% mark, taking into account your workload and buffering for product delivery time. Once you have performed your visual audit and know what you need to reorder, head over to screenprinting.com or open the Ryanet Quick Order app to easily place the order. By implementing this easy to use visual inventory management system, you will ensure that you will always be stocked and you're not gonna be scrambling to find product in the middle of a job. In the description below, you're gonna find a link to download the infograph for this entire process. I encourage you to print it out and hang it on your shop wall. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on how to apply this visual inventory system to other areas in your shop. If you haven't already, please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos.